It's been a long day of work, hasn't it? I mean, here you are, you woke up and you thought about this girl, so you masturbated straight away after you woke up. Then later on throughout the day, you saw your classmate and you masturbated to her. And then later on throughout the day, you saw this hot anime character and you, you masturbated like 20 times a day to her. It's been very tough today, man, because now your pee pee hurts. You don't know what to do. So what to do in this specific situation? So. I will show you what to do in order to prevent that pee-pee hurt inside your pee-pee after you masturbate and how to specifically masturbate inside this video. So let's cover the first step. Stop using that iron grip of a man, bro. Literally, from any single guy that has actually experienced sex, you can actually just ask him if it's any anywhere close, anywhere near to actually having it like with your hand. They will say that it, it, it isn't even comparable. You have the iron grip of a man, bro. So you, if you get your cock and literally choke it like this, one day you might actually end up with, with it in your hand instead of it down there. So stop using that and stop jacking off in general. You see, jacking off in general is very bad for you. I don't have to ramble about this because I've like, I have like, tens of if not twenties of videos on my channel you can actually check them out after this video but you should know by now that masturbating in general is not a good thing for you it lowers testosterone it makes girl unattracted to you and it makes your life just 10 times worse so what can i say more about this let's move on you see i had this girl back in the day where basically in primary school she was one of the hottest girls for me so every single day I would just stare at her, look at her and all of that. And I would barely speak to her like once or twice a month. But every single day I would come back home. I would just visualize her and fab to her. Just jack off like three or four, four or five, sometimes even five times to her. So I was there jacking off every single day to this girl that I could have spoken to, but I did not. What does this say about me? Maybe you could relate to the story. So let me ask you one question, bro. How would you feel? How would you honestly feel if your future self was watching you right now and he was in a worst position ever thanks to you, thanks to you jacking off every single day instead of actually going there and taking the real deal? How would he feel? He would probably cringe. He would probably feel like, why is this guy my best self? What the fuck is this guy doing? I wish I could just slap him right now. So don't do your future self a disfavor. If you have a crush inside your school, inside your life, inside your co-worker space and all of that, just go there and speak up to them. They won't bite, bro. They won't actually come to you and literally choke you by your neck because you say, oh, but you're actually... But you're actually hot and they will just jump on you and take your neck off. No, nothing like that will happen. Two things will happen. They will say thanks and come with you. They will say, oh, thanks, but it's kind of actually weird. And they will just get away from you. So be fine with rejection bro, and actually go there and speak to them. Don't be this loser that just watches from the window and that's it. Because if you jack off every single day, bro, to images, to pictures and to your imagination, there is no, there is no doubt that in the future, you'll probably end up like seeing your future wife getting fucked, brutally fucked by somebody else inside this house. And you're just there on the window watching like a creepy little zombie and masturbating to her. I mean, bro, it's funny and it's sad in the same time. Your future wife that you always wanted fucked by somebody else. And here you are masturbating like a little monkey to her instead of actually doing something to get her. How, do, how does it make you feel? If this makes you feel good, bro, go and watch some more NoFap videos because you have no idea how actually terrible this is for you. It literally kills off your desire for sex. So literally there is only downside and zero upside to masturbating. Oh, but actually it increases testosterone. Who told you that? Your, your high school friend? Is he a doctor, bro? Is he somebody who, I don't know, has muscles on him? Is he somebody who you can trust? If he doesn't have like 
at least bison bigger than my head right now. I would not trust this guy at all. Masturbation is absolutely brutal for you. So don't even think about it, bro. Instead, why don't you just go ahead and think about stuff that will actually be beneficial for you? What are those things? Reading books, bro. You can actually read some book from time to time. They exist. They exist for a reason, and they are the reason why successful people are successful. You can actually go there and exercise. You can go and learn some new skill. You can actually go out there and gain the confidence of speaking with girls and guys. And maybe even actually going out on night outs with those girls to actually get the experience here. You can do all these things. You can do all these things with, which would be... 10 times more beneficial than just staying inside home and jacking off to your imagination. Because at the end of the day, by just staying inside home, you are not improving yourself. But by actually going out there, making yourself more attractive, getting that experience out with girls, you are simply 10% better than the average guy inside that one single day. So inside one single year, bro, you will be 36 times better than an average man with a woman if you simply just take those few action steps I just gave you. Because they will be more attracted to you, bro. So just remember this quote in mind. Either have sex right now or do something that will lead you toward having sex in the future. So do this every single time. You feel the need to jack off. If you can't jack off right now, if you can't have sex right now, just go drop down and do some push-ups. Or just go outside and do some cardio. Go outside and do something that will actually lead you toward having sex. So, until then, bro, just continue to improve yourself. And don't you dare listen to those freakazoids on the internet that tell you that the masturbation is actually good for testosterone. It's not. It kills it. Thanks all for watching, brother. If you would like, you can go ahead and join my paid school community. It is the first link in the description, brother. And I will see you inside there. You don't have to, bro. You don't have to. It's only for the very serious people who want to reach their goals 10 times faster. You can still reach your goals by simply watching those free videos. But if you want to reach them 10 times faster, you can go ahead and join that school community. And I will see you inside there.